In this episode, we are going to learn how to generate content for Strapi. And we are doing this because in the next episode, we are going to cover something called infinite scroll. So it's a functionality similar to what you get on Facebook when you scroll through the posts, new posts are always loading. So that's infinite scroll. And to do that, we would need a relatively large set of data. So in this episode, I'm going to show you how you can quickly generate some content, fake content uh, for your Strapi backend so that you can consume it on Next.js and then create infinite scroll from it. But that's for the next episode. In this episode, we are just going to generate that content so that we are prepared. In the strap backend, I just created a new content type called posts. And uh, you know, on those posts, we just have title, publish that, create that, you get that out of the box, you get the ID out of the box. And if you create a new post, you will see that we only actually created two fields, which is called, con uh, one is called title, of course, for the title of the post, and the other one is called content. So this is just uh, what you see, what you get editor in which you can add your content. And that's about it. Uh, also, what I did, if you go to settings, you go to roles, public, you can see that I allowed public users to count, delete, find one, create, find and update. Since you are creating fake content right here, you may be create, creating that during the development so that you have some content to work with. This is okay. So you allow public users to do anything to post. But of course, once you push this to production, uh, you will usually uh, remove, create, update, and delete from the public role. So, uh, and also we are doing this so that we don't have to log in or uh, authenticate with Strapi to create our posts because we are going to be creating our posts, our fake posts uh, on the Next.js side. So that's about it for the Strapi setup. We don't need to do anything else. And by the way, there may be a better way to do this directly in Strapi. Uh, using the faker plugin, but I just don't know it. So I did it through Next.js and I'm going to show you how in just a second. So now we are just going to install a plugin called faker. And this plugin is used so that it will create the fake data for us. As you will see, it has many options and we are just going to go through a few of them. But for now, we're just going to install it and uh, go to our code editor and do some things in our Next.js. In our code editor in pages folder, we are going to create a new file called generate content, generate content.js. And we are just going to add some scaffolding to it. So I'm importing box, uh, get config so I can get the configuration for our API. Uh, then we are defining a function which we are calling generate content. We are returning a box with a variant of container so that everything is in the middle of the screen. And then I am adding a button. Once you click this button, we should be able to generate content. Now, if I save this, go to my browser, as you can see, now we have this button right here. And once we click it, we are going to generate content on our Strapi backend. But before we do that with Faker, let me just show you how this is going to work with just simple content that we add. So first of all, I'm going to add an async function right here, and I'm going to call that function uh, add content. Uh, next, I'm going to define post data. So the data that we are going to be sending uh, to our backend. So since we only have title and content, I'm writing title with a capital T because that's what I called my field. So here we are just going to add some title and for the content, we are going to add some content. Okay, so we defined our post data. Now I'm going to define a function which is going to be called uh, generate, generate and we are going to use fetch for that. We are going to hit the posts endpoint with a method of post. Uh, the headers that we are sending are accept application JSON and content type is going to be application JSON also. And then we just need to send the body. We already did this a couple of times. And then we just want to generate the response from this 
we are actually going to call a variable called generate response because this one is called generate. So this is going to be the response that we get from this. So away generate uh, JSON and we are just going to console log that out. So save this and now on our button, which is going to be of type button, we are going to add an on click, which is just going to call our, our add content function. And that's about it. So let's see if this works. Save it, uh, go to the browser and we can open up our console. And now if I click uh, generate strapi content, we get something from our server. And uh, as you can see, we are adding some content. Now, this is what we get as a response. Let's see if we added something to our strapi backend. So we go to posts and as you can see, we have some title. Uh, published that, created that, and in here add some content uh, for our body. Okay, so this is great. And this is the way you can easily add content to your Strapi backend. Now let's use Faker so that we could fake content in mass. So let's create 10 posts in a second. Uh, this is what we are going to be using Faker for. So Faker.js is used for generating massive amounts of fake data in the browser and Node.js. We already installed it and the data that you can generate, as you can see, you have these API methods. So you can generate addresses, animals, commerce, companies, databases, data types, dates, finance, Git, hacker, helpers, and so on. We are going to actually be using this lorem API so that we can generate words and that we can generate paragraphs for our content field. Of course, read the documentation and try use uh, whatever fits your needs. So uh, let's go to our code editor. And in here, first of all, we need to import Faker. So we import Faker from Faker. And now here, uh, instead of adding some title or some content, what we can do is I can just say Faker uh, dot lorem dot sentence. So I want to generate a sentence for my title. For my body, I want to also use faker dot lorem dot uh, paragraphs. So we are going to generate some paragraphs for our content field. Okay, so if we save this, go to the browser go to our application, refresh it just in case. And if you click generate strapi content, as you can see, we generated something. And if we go to our strapi backend, there is another post right here, which is called something for lorem ipsum. And this is our text, right? So you can see how pow powerful this is. Of course, some of you are going to ask, how can we add images? I don't think you can add images to the Strapi backend because you actually need to upload an image uh, to the uh, backend. And uh, the only thing the faker does is just going to provide you with a URL to an image. So what you can do, uh, you can create an image field and leave it alone. And then you can create another fake field, which is just going to be a text field that is going to contain the URL from Faker, right? So this is one way to approach it. And once your site goes live, uh, the clients or you will fill in the actual data. So in that filling in the data, you would actually add the images and then you would just change uh, your field on the Next.js from that fake text field to an actual image. Okay, so this is the way you can create a one post, but now let's create at least 10 posts. So if we go to our code editor right now, we are going to wrap all of this into a for loop right here. So I'm going to say for i is equal to zero. And while i is less than 10, add one to i. And then I'm just going to wrap all of this into this for loop. And we need to define I right here. And that's about it. So now, when we click add content, when we click this button, uh, this should run 10 times and create 10 posts for us. So let's see if this works. Go to our browser. 
Okay, refresh it. Something is wrong here. Okay, so I forgot to add this curly brace right here. Okay, let's now save it. Check uh, the application. Okay, now everything works. Now if I click generate Stripey content, as you can see, we get 10 posts right here. And if we go to our strap backend, as you can see, now we have a lot of posts. So in preparation for the next episode, when we are going to be doing uh, infinite scrolling, we are just going to create a hundred more posts. Okay, so let's click this, go to the browser, once again, refresh it and just click generate strapy content. And now, as you can see, we are generating 100 posts. If we go to the back end, refresh this, you can see that now we have 12 pages of content. So this is the way to easily generate strapy content for your Next.js and strapy application. Okay, so this has been it for this video. Remember, everything we did here will be available for you on GitHub. The link will be in the description below. And as always, thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next one.